Greetings. This is Kathleen Caldwell, founder of C-Suite Network's Women's Coaching and Consulting Council. And our topic today is so important, so timely. We have a three-day challenge, three sessions to help you to get into corporate. You're a coach, you're a consultant, trusted advisor, thought leader, and you want to bring your programs, products, services, mentoring, guidance, all of the things that you love doing and who you are, bring your expertise and your magic into corporate. And we're going to talk about that over three days. And so thank you for being here. I'm Kathleen Caldwell, founder of this wonderful council. I'm a speaker. I'm an author. I'm also a coach since 1998, a member of the International Coaching Federation, and I love coaching. And so I'm very passionate about being a corporate coach. And so I've uh, I've had a long career in corporate. I was in tech for many, many years, leading sales teams throughout the, the, the whole world. And I then had the ability to be a coach employee. I coached and mentored my sales teams, my engineering teams. And I realized that I loved it so much that I wanted to do it full time. And so I started my own coaching practice in 1998, quite a long time ago. And then I went back into corporate, to corporations, to guide and mentor them through leadership programs, team building, empowerment programs. So I'm here to tell you, I've got a lot of experience in this, and I'm coming from real world experience on what works. And the opportunity is real here. And so you can't pick up a news feed or read a newspaper or you know find news anywhere without knowing that things are transitioning in corporate. Hey, things are transitioning around the world, especially post-pandemic. And so you can see, you, if you go on SHRM, you can find out all kinds of statistics about what's happening in learning and development, what's happening in corporate transformation, human resources. You Even McKinsey now has a branch of their business, their consulting business, that focuses on employee health. It's a huge topic. So burnout is happening. Employee resignation, the quiet quitting, the quiet firing, all kinds of things that are happening in the world. Corporations need us as corporate coaches. And so we have an opportunity to make a difference. And so speaking from real world experience, I've worked with the Fortune corporations and I've also worked with, as an external coach, going in and coaching their teams and their leaders, running mastermind groups and councils and focus groups, strategic planning, all kinds of really fun things as an external coach with my own business going into corporate. And so there's opportunity everywhere. And so when you think about corporate coaching, you don't have to be a coach going in and you know co coaching attempting to coach with the largest corporations, although you can, the gold oftentimes is within companies and organizations within a hundred mile radius of where you live. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be on a plane from Sunday night until Friday evening. You know, I want to be able to do my local and regional business and have a global kind of approach and a global and local corporate business. And that's what I have right now. So as you know, the corporate coaching and consulting business is escalating as employees are being um, you know, shifted around organizations, they're being reassigned. As companies are thinning out in different divisions, their employees, their W-2 employees, the need for coaches to come in and support employees is greater than ever before. And so we're, we're talking about corporations that essentially we want to work with. You know, I don't think that this is a situation where we want to spend our time convincing corporations, leaders within corporations to work with us. This to me is a no brainer. So first of all, setting your sights on how do you get into corporate, thinking about the kinds of corporations you want to work with. Who are the kinds of people? Because there is a code to all of this. And so I will talk about a little bit of how to crack that code. But to give you kind of some context as well, so we know corporations, and when I mean corporations, we mean small, medium, and large size businesses in the United States, globally. And it's interesting, of all of the revenue that's generated in the U.S. economy, 
while corporations are a small part of the size of employees, they are the greatest size when it comes to income. So they generate with the U.S. economy 4% of the GDP, but yet they don't have the size of employees that small businesses have. Small business is generally the biggest part of business within the United States. From zero, uh, from zero up to 500 employees is considered a small business. So I'm talking about in the context of this small, medium, and large business. I'm not talking about micro businesses, entrepreneurs. That's a separate conversation. So generally, um, incorporated companies, INC, LLCs, all those types of larger businesses, generally 50 employees and above. Okay. So why do they hire external coaches? Well, you can see the long list here. Um, really, they're looking for external people to come in, see their business issues, their challenges, their opportunities in with new eyes, new light. They want an objective point of view and someone who can help them. They, if they would be able to do things on their own, they would probably be doing it to some great detail or degree of success. But you as the expert, you as the credentialed, experienced, excellent coach, you can go in and support the organization, the employees to get what they want. So you can see these are all of the reasons and many, 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 many more. In fact, I'm delighted to share with each of you, I have a list of the 150 different things that corporations hire coaches for. It's an incredible list. I'd be glad to share that with you. So it's not only the organization that you can work with that you're going to target, and we'll talk about how to do that. In my own experience, I have had great success in, again, a local strategy, corporations within my 100-mile radius, and then using their relationship to go and be, they're part of a subsidiary, they're part of the supply chain, but then working my way up through relationships to be a part of the larger um, host company, the large, uh, the, the main organization. Uh, there was a large food, man there's a large food manufacturing company in the Midwest, but yet they've got all kinds of satellite locations and they've got all kinds of subsidiaries. So one of the local subsidiaries is in my county. And again, granted, my town of Woodstock, Illinois has 24,000 people in it. So if I can use this strategy with 24,000 people, you can do it in your larger company or your larger, your larger city. So working with the small subsidiary, team build, leadership, strategic planning, mentoring, guiding, being a strategic advisor to not only the CEO, the plant president, the leadership team, but also to be a coach for all of the employees or certain leadership uh, leaders within the organization has worked great. And then building relationships to be able to then work with the main organization, the main company. So, so many different strategies you can use, but think about for yourself for our time together is what are the problems that corporations are experiencing and how can you help them solve it? Because I think what's happening now through all of my research is leadership coaches, it's, it's too broad of a niche. It's too broad of a marketplace. So being able to hone into, I'm a coach, I'm a strategic advisor, I'm a leadership coach, but I specialize in X, Y, and Z, helping organizations retain top talent, attract new talent, deal with healthy conflict, so inserting your expertise is key, okay? It's going to differentiate you from other coaches out in the world. So as you know, as a coach, we, we serve in so many different roles. And I think that this is so important to remember that the term or title coach means so many different things. And so you may even want to consider as a part of our challenge here for the next three days, thinking about titles for yourself. I love the title strategic consultant, strategic analyst, uh, business partner, um, productivity expert. I mean, I love having different types of titles in addition to business coach and strategist, okay? So, you know, you can see from the list here, you know your relationships with your clients. You are a trusted advisor. You've earned the right in your career 
to provide that kind of service. Now, does that start on day one? Absolutely not with a new corporation. You build up the relationship to become that strategic advisor. And it starts with even your approach on how you're going to contact and start the conversation, start the relationship with the company, okay? So thinking about all the different ways that you serve and you can serve your prospective clients. So of course, you know, why do you want to do this? I think this really is the first step, getting clear about why. what's your intention for getting into corporate coaching, bringing your products and your services into a corporate environment, looking at why it is that you want to do this. And you can see there's a huge list here, but really being clear about what your intention is. And, you know, I think it's certainly beyond the income and certainly about the diversification of our business. But also, I love the idea of being able to transform and impact people's lives when they're in corporate, you know, transform their lives. And, and a brief story for me is I will never forget the executive coaching client that I had at a major company in my county that this... Uh, this director was having a really hard time with making a major life decision. Should she or should she not go in a direction? And literally through three very, very intense, confidential, amazing conversations, we built up the relationship to that she was able to make a very courageous decision about her career. And it transformed her entire life and catapulted her onto a new level of being seen in the organization, being salaried and being be compensated and to be able to assert her thought leadership in the organization and really within the industry. And so we must not uh, just underestimate the power of one important conversation can transform people's lives. And still to this day, four years later, she still sends me an annual email message saying, thank you for that one conversation. She cites the date. She said, that changed my life. So as coaches, we change lives, okay? Let's never forget that. The impact is really important. And so as you're thinking about taking your programs, your products and services, and moving them into being able to have more corporate clients, I think the next code is, of course, number one is, what's your why? Why do you want to do this? Number two is, what is your specialization and your niche? As we mentioned before, being a leadership coach right now, uh, I can't tell you, I guess I could do a Google search to find out how many people are branded as a leadership coach or they're a um, team building coach. Those are really important things. However, to find your differentiation is really key. Before you make one phone call, send one email message, think about where do you have the experience? What are you passionate about? What's your point of view? What are the solutions that you have to solve problems and provide opportunities to corporations, to individuals, to human beings in corporations? How can you add value? So thinking about narrowing into your niche and thinking about that here's um, that I'm a business partner, I'm a business strategist, and I help certain people, let's just say human resources, learning and development, um, wellness directors, wellness, the chief wellness officer, employee wellness officer, all the different titles within corporations, but I help them be able to do X, Y, and Z. Okay. So bounce that off of a trusted advisor. Come to me, schedule a, a call with me. We can bounce off some ideas for you on what could be your specialty title, your specialty point of view. Okay. That will make you easier to find. It will make you more accessible and more attractive, obviously, to organizations that want to solve those kinds of problems. Okay, so thinking about, again, what's your offer? Before you make one phone call, one email, just step back for a moment and think about what could be an offer that I would like to provide, okay? And then doing some strategy, and this is part of our, our three-day challenge, is to take some time between today and tomorrow our next session is thinking about the problems that you help solve, okay? And going through your notes, who have the clients that you've worked with in the past? What was the transformation that you helped provide? What was the before? What was the after? And what 
who are the people that kind of own those problems, okay? It doesn't always have to necessarily be human resources or the chief learning officer or the president or the CEO. Think about things like engineering, sales, tech, supply chain, finance. I mean, there's just so many departments and divisions within organizations. And so who owns the problem, so to speak? What solutions do you have? And step back and think about what are the systems, the frameworks, what are the, what's the specialized knowledge and assessments that you have to help them? A coach with a system is a whole different category of coach than a coach that just, just, as a framework on how to coach, okay? The game has changed, ladies. And so a coach with a framework on how to be a great coach, those are the table stakes in business today, okay? Organizations, corporations have a basic, base, they, they know about coaching now, okay? The education on coaching has been done. The ROI has been done on coaching. Coaching is now a standard within companies, the next level is to be able to have the frameworks, the systems, the models, the methodologies that set you apart, okay? And again, this doesn't have to be onerous, but to have a basic framework is key, okay? And what are the, what's the experience and the results that you're bringing in with you? What's your, essentially your toolkit, right? And so through this whole process, what we're looking for in our first day of our challenge is we're doing a process to be able to find the sweet spot, okay? Where's the sweet spot for you? And we're looking for the people that have got the, the best people, so to speak, that have got the best problems and the best ability to say yes to you. The timing is right. And you combine that with you've got the best solution and it's the best now. Let's do something now, okay? So when all of those things come together, you've got the sweet spot, okay? And as you know, Corporations do not purchase large ticket transformational ser services, transformational projects, or even a pilot program just on the internet. They're not going to buy literally a $50,000 uh, corporate pilot program for um, transforming their engineering teams, something like that, or supplying be best practices around clear communication and conflict resolution by pressing a button on a shopping cart in the on the internet. They're just not going to do it. It starts with the relationship, okay? So here's the process in the step one of our challenge today, which is we want to find the best people, the best people that are for right now, okay? I believe in a strategy of let's do a crawl, walk, run, and just start the process. So step number one is I recommend go through and create a list in a Google sheet, on a sheet of paper, honestly, in notes, whatever works for you in your CRM, make a list of uh, your current contacts that you have that are in corporate. The best thing to do is your former clients. Go back to your former clients and literally do a search and make sure that you are connected to all of your former clients and existing clients on LinkedIn, okay? And then I recommend, let's just start really nice and easy. Make a list of the top 20 people that know you, like you, and trust you in, in uh, on LinkedIn. Let's get a nice list of people, 20 people, that maybe you've worked with in the past. They're prospective people. They comment on your posts. Uh, you have a relationship with them. You know at least 20 people for sure, okay? Because once you start the list, you know it's going to come, come quicker after that, okay? And then I recommend number three, connect with them on email. And I'm going to tell you what to exactly say in the next slide here, but connect, reach out to them, connect on email, connect on phone, connect on social media, send them a LinkedIn direct message. Maybe it's text, whatever it is, or you know, however you like to connect with people. Just connect with them. And the next step is you're going to schedule a very nice, easy Zoom meeting, in-person meeting, coffee, whatever works for you. All right. And I'm going to tell you next what exactly to do. So this is a success script that I have used for years and I'm gifting it to each of you along with the process and how to do this. Okay. This works 
when you work it. So the first thing is make your list of your top 20 prospective new clients, okay? And we're kind of thinking about these people. What are the challenges they're having? You know, energetically kind of warm up your relationship with these wonderful people. Reach out to them next. And here's the easy script is I'm doing some research on, let's just say they're in manufacturing or they're in um, Southern Illinois or they're in a particular kind of industry or niche or business or whatever it is. And you just mentioned that I'm doing some research, let's just say, on, I love working with manufacturing companies. So it's true for me that, hey, I'm doing some research on manufacturing in the United States and manufacturing companies. I'm wondering if you have 15 minutes to chat with me. I've got a couple of questions that I want to ask with you. Everybody that knows you, likes you, trusts you will take and invest 15 minutes with you. I assure you, okay? If they cannot invest 15 minutes to talk to you because you're doing research on this, take them off the list, love them up, you know, through whatever system you're going to love up, replace their name on there, okay? People will give you 15 minutes, okay? And so then the script is you get the appointment set up and literally it is 15 minutes, no more, no less. And the script, the script then, I'm saying a script, modify this to your own you know, your own situation, your own vibe, that type of thing. We're looking for the best people with quote unquote, the best problems that we can help solve. Okay. Then the, the conversation goes like this. Hi, Joan. Um, I'm doing some research about businesses in manufacturing. And I would really appreciate your insights because I'm expanding and building my strategy business in the manufacturing field. Okay. Really, it may seem a little awkward until you practice it, practice it, practice it. And so then it goes on to, hey, I'm just curious. I'm doing some research and I'm wondering from your perspective, what would you say are the biggest challenges facing manufacturers or human resources in manufacturing or finance people in manufacturing or whatever it is, insert what their, their area of expertise is, their job title, their experience, okay? And so you're genuinely, you're doing research and they're going to give you, well, we're dealing with hiring, we're dealing with retention, we're dealing with costs escalating, we're dealing with shareholder pressure, you know, it's going to be a kind of a common kind of thing. You're taking notes, you're taking notes, you're listening, 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 okay? And so as they give you the feedback, then you can ask them, is, hey, I'm just curious, is, you know, these are things that you're noticing in the industry, but is your company dealing with that as well? Okay. And they're going to say, yeah, you know, it's uh, something that we're, we're grappling with, you know, to the level of intimacy that you have with them, they're going to open up the kimono and tell you what's happening in their company. All right. And the next question is, you know, after they tell you about it, yeah, we're dealing with this. We're going to have an offsite. We want, we want to have an offsite in the next year. Yeah. That's right. We're looking for strategic planning person who could help me with this. Okay. And then your question is, you know, is your company, have they invested in bringing in outside specialists to help you with this? Hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe I could connect you to the person who's scheduling this. So you're, we just want to get the conversation going. Okay. We're planting seeds. So you've made the connection. You've done the research. You had the conversation then literally in 15 minutes, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. And thank you for sharing your, your experiences. This is so important to me. You're leaning in, they're leaning in, and they're kind of going, God, I have more to tell her. You know, you want to take more than 15 minutes? You can, but you don't need to. And so you've done, you've gotten the research from them. You're doing this with multiple organizations. And so then asking permission, hey, could I reconnect back with you? because I'm doing some research, I'd like to share my findings about what's happening with manufacturing in, you know, uh, California kind of thing. Can I share, come back and share, share my research with you? And you know, they're going to say yes. All right. All right. So you're building in the relationship, the credibility, the um, strategy part of this. And then guess what you do? Very simple process. Take detailed notes, Track the results in a spreadsheet, 
then go in and rank the urgency that you heard from this wonderful person. What's the urgency and the importance of these individual issues? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? You are, of course, doing major market research, okay? But you're building in the human relationship on this. So rank the importance of the urgency and the importance, and then put together a little report. Put all this in chat GPT and generate, or Jasper AI, I love that too, generate a report of your findings, okay? Loop back with the person on email, loop, you know, loop back with them, and then the email is something like this. Thank you, John, Joe, Sue, for taking the time to talk with me. As promised, here are the findings of my research, okay? And love to schedule another conversation with you to learn more about your plans for XYZ Corporation. Like to see how we might be able to work together for mutual benefit, right? So it opens the door for you. It takes you out of the coach, takes you into being the partner, the strategic advisor, and you are now the expert sharing your findings. It puts you at a whole different level of being a strategic advisor, trusted advisor to the organization. Okay. Plus you've got all this great research that you could do a white paper on. You could use it as a lead magnet. You can use it as a talk. You can use it as a foundation of a book. I mean, it's incredible and it doesn't have to take a lot of time. Okay. So what we're doing here, again, just to recap and then talk about next steps is this is the sweet spot strategy is we want to find where's the sweet spot for you when you're finding the best people, problems, their ability to say yes, the timing, the solution, and then of course the best now to do something about it. Okay. So again, very quickly build the relationship, reinforce and set up trust. Again, 15 minute conversations, really, really, really simple. I recommend if you're really serious about bringing your products and programs and services into corporate environments, becoming a strong, lucrative, profitable, and busy with the right clients, highly paid corporate coach, you do this. And so literally, conservatively, having three calls a day for five days would be five new prospective clients a week, easily, okay? And then tomorrow, we're going to talk about how to turn all this into the next step, which could be how do you then create a proposal for the next steps to working with these clients? You've identified what the problems are. You want to go to the next step of having a discovery session to learn more and then to propose solutions. All right. So build a relationship, of course, establish trust, set up an opportunity to come back in and re and share the findings get the conversation going and a basic conversation about, hey, I'd like to be helpful to you and to your company. What's next? All right. So I highly challenge, today's a challenge. Highly challenge all of you and I'm going to do it myself. Make a list of your top 20 people who know you, like you, trust you, and even include those past clients that you want to reconnect with. Top 20 list. Extra credit goes for those of you who then reach out to connect with each of these 20 people. Make sure you're connected on email and, and or send them a LinkedIn message. Hey, I'm doing some research and I'm doing some, uh, some important research on X industry or X something something. Could we set up a, a quick 15 minute call in the next two weeks to discuss? Okay, you're just building the relationship. It's something new and different that people are not doing. Coaches are not doing this, but you can do this. And then, of course, go through the script, keep track of the results, then create a report. You know, this you don't have to do all that this week, but just get the get the list made and even extra credit for reaching out to those 20 people. All right. So you can, you've got choices here, as we all do. We can leave feeling confused or unclear or whatever, or we can just take the next simple step. So that could even just be get on LinkedIn today, make a list of your top 20, and just send out a, re send out a little connection to each of them, okay? Hey, miss seeing you, love the time we work together um, at XYZ Company. I'm doing some new research, Everybody loves to be involved with new research, okay? Love to have a conversation with you. Could we book some time in the next 
a couple weeks for 15 minutes. Okay, highly recommend you do this. This will unearth new opportunities for you. It'll give you more momentum, more passion, more energy than anything that you could do. Okay, setting you up as the expert, the specialist, the highly desirable person who's got the goods and can deliver. So with that, take some steps between today and tomorrow. If you have any questions, reach out to me through a DM on LinkedIn. Be glad to give you some Q&A, of course, on what you can do if you have any questions about this step. And of course, remembering as we complete, now's the time. It's your time. Our corporate colleagues, corporate warriors, they want us. They need us. They are calling us to support them in these fabulous jobs they have. So let's together get them coached up. So as we're completing and you're watching the recording, you're here live. Thank you. Thank you. I always love to do this is take a moment, take a deep breath, because we went through a lot in a very short period of time. Think about what's your biggest takeaway. Okay. Just write it down, type it in, put it in, put a little bookend on our time together. What's your biggest takeaway? And what will you do next? Get that list of 20, make a connection, start the process. So with that, bye for now. Kathleen Caldwell, thank you again. Let's get corporate coached up together. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for that.